silver, and gold. The history of the world has been introduced to us with great dates and accomplishments, but it all started small. Our ancestors had survived millions of years of evolution, in which process they mastered hunting and farming, gathering and inventing tools. Wood and stone, bone and animal skin, felt and clay, as well as iron and gold, are all natural materials that have changed the course of civilization in Kazakhstan. As mankind gradually developed, a need arose for common commodity equivalents. At first, valuable goods, grains and salt served as money, and only with the passing of time did people begin to mint coins. Some metals are common in nature, while others are very rare. That is what primarily determined their value. The very first coins were minted from a natural gold and silver alloy. Coins of silver and gold were used before, and they are still around now. Many people still think that gold is the most expensive metal on Earth. But this is not entirely true. metals are considered to be the most expensive. Californium 252. According to various sources, the price is about $20 million per gram, and it is manufactured using nuclear reactors in Russia and in the United States only. The world reserves are estimated at only 7 to 8 grams of the substance. Ruthenium was discovered in 1844 and was named in honor of Russia, and this is what names sound like in Latin. It is used in the chemical and aerospace industries. Rhodium is found in nature in its purest form. Its properties are similar to platinum, however, it is much harder. It has strong reflective properties as well, for which it has become commonly used in the automotive and chemical industries. Platinum found in nature is exclusively in alloy form with other metals. Obtaining pure metal is a rather complicated process. Platinum has become the most widespread in jewelry and electronic industries. Osmium-187 is the second most expensive metal in the world. Its price is approximately $200,000 per one gram. The main area of its application is in the manufacturing of fine precision instrumentation. Iridium has extremely small amounts found in the Earth's crust. No more than 3,000 kilograms of this metal is mined annually. In its properties, it is similar to osmium. Palladium. Palladium is used to make the so-called white gold. Even its small content changes the color of an alloy. No more than 300 tons of this metal is produced annually. Osmium. In nature, it only exists in conjunction with other metals of the platinum group, iridium. It has a pungent smell, for which it got its name in Greek, osmi, which means smell. Another property of osmium is its extremely high melting point. Silver has been known to man since ancient times. It has an extremely wide scope of application. It is used in almost all industries, from chemical to medical. Silver is a precious metal especially valued in the jewelry industry. Gold, perhaps the most well-known metal on the planet. It was already known in ancient times. At the moment, about 170,000 tons have been mined over the entire history of mankind. In comparison, this amount of iron is mined worldwide every day. The value of gold and silver is high. They are therefore stored as coins and ingots in the state banks of many countries. 
Why is gold the most well-known precious metal from antiquity to the present day? This is because it could be found in its purest form. It does not oxidize. It is well processed for easy forging. Therefore, this valuable metal at all times has been so widely and universally used. The beginning of summer turned out to be a hot one. Low shrubs yellowed early. The steppe, like a colorful sun bleached carpet, covered the entire valley. The Jagit was coming back home from a distant Aul, and his journey was long, but for Kajum, traveling was not hard. Everything pleased him. This hot day and this lonely boundless steppe, fussy and chirping. His thoughts were far away. He was smiling, thinking back on the details of yesterday. How he came to this rich celebration and was welcomed there with honor and respect. That night, Kajim's fingers were quick and precise, and his strings were soft and obedient. That evening, he was second to none. They had given him a gold coin. Gold! He had never held it before. Copper and silver, yes, but never gold. How it glitters in the sunlight. No one ever appreciated his performance like yesterday. So, the Jigit said, the time has come. He has become an akin of merit. He did not disgrace his famous grandfather, who was a Kuishi. Now he is going to think for a long time about what to do, whether to buy a new stallion or a strong mare, or maybe to buy a flock of sheep. Or is it better to separate from parents' home and put up his own yurt and cover it with white felt? Kajim didn't know what to do. He was overwhelmed with joy. He thought about coming home and telling his father and mother about him winning the Itis contest, and his mother wiping her tears with a handkerchief, and his father blushing with pride for his son. Gold. The ancient Greeks believed that gold is a dense combination of water and sunlight. It was believed that this metal is a gift to people from the god of the sun. The Incas called gold tears of the sun. They wore golden jewelry for beauty and wore it during ritual ceremonies. But they did not use gold as the equivalent of money. In about 1200 BC, the ancient Egyptians sifted gold dust from the sea sand using unshorn sheepskin. This craft most likely became the source of golden fleece legends. In 560 BC, the Lydians who lived in the territory of modern Turkey minted the world's first gold coin. True, it was not of pure gold, but of Electrum, a gold and silver alloy. The trial of Picts in England, a public control of the quality of gold, began in 1282 and continues to this day. A golden ducat put into circulation in Venice in the 13th century remained the most popular coin in the world for 500 years. Previously, medals from Olympic champions were entirely cast in gold. In modern metals, the only outer shell is covered with gold. It uses six grams of the precious metal. In the river valleys, people found sand with high admixture of gold. There could be so much gold in the sand that anyone could mine it using a shovel, a sieve, and several bowls. The pursuit of gold placers was called the gold rush. For its extraction of gold, people invented many devices that facilitate the work in the mines, 
The placer miners were replaced by serious companies with industrial extraction methods when the first fuel-powered cars appeared. Currently, gold mining is impossible without specialized machinery. This gives a lot of opportunities and the process of metal mining is greatly simplified. Gold can be found both near the Earth's surface and underground. Its location will determine the type of extraction used in mining it. The hard human labor used in the mines is a thing of the past. It is the time of machines. Now the equipment can work not only during the day, but also at night. The process of mining precious metals is around the clock. The open cast mining process is used when gold is shallow. The quarry looks like a giant hole in the ground, with roads paved around it. Trucks ensure equipment delivery and ore removal. Giant gold mining machines are constantly being improved. New complexes are being developed that can reach a five-story building in size. Such machines are controlled from a special station using sophisticated electronic equipment. Gold mining is a very time-consuming process. To get only a few grams, you need to process a huge amount of ore. At the processing plant, gold ore is crushed and sorted, and only then actual metal winning takes place. The variety of jewelry and accessories made of this precious metal is incredible. So how is unique jewelry born, from which it is hard to take your eyes off? The artistic capabilities of future jewelry is expanded not only through the imagination of the master jeweler, but also by its materials used. If the jeweler encrusts a piece of jewelry with stone, a lot will depend on its choice. The color of the stone, its shape and size must be in perfect harmony with all the smallest details of the future products. It is stone that mainly attracts the attention and a key element of decoration. The girl picked up a needle and quickly put a twisted thread into the eye. She was pleased to help her grandmother, Alima, whose eyes had long ceased to see well. The pillow tore, and the fluff scattered in different directions. It had to be mended. Humming a song, Malika went to her grandmother and handed her a needle and thread and sat next to her. She could always have a long and interesting talk with her grandma. Suddenly, Malika began to sing a song that she had heard yesterday as she was helping the woman comb out sheep's hair. They told her that this was an old song that had long been forgotten by everyone. The girl liked this beautiful melody and the words of the song as well. It was about the love of a jigit and a beautiful girl. The song talked about the jigit saying goodbye to his beloved and presenting her with an expensive gift, a golden watch. What is gold to me? The girl said in this song. I don't want it as long as you shine for me, my sunshine. The elderly woman's chest ached. Every word echoed in her heart. Alima got up and went to a small wooden chest. She put a key into the keyhole and opened it and took out the gold watch. She is going to show it to her granddaughter and to tell her that this song was written about her and her beloved who had passed away as a sign of their great love. 
Nomads treasured and guarded their jewelry, passing it on as an inheritance, as they believed that these would not only bring wealth, but also protect the family from disease and misfortune. In the past, gold only used to be yellow, but now it comes in different colors. The traditional and most familiar color of gold is yellow. That is the color of the pure metal. For example, the 585 rate yellow gold consists of 58.5% pure precious metal, while the rest is silver and copper. White gold. Steel cold shades are slightly less popular than yellow colors. White gold perfectly combined with diamonds, making them even brighter. This color of the metal is only obtained by adding palladium, nickel, silver or platinum to it. Red and pink gold. The alloy acquires such shades due to copper. Copper has a good effect on the properties of finished products, making them stronger and more durable. Green gold. An unusual shade of this metal results in the alloy of gold and silver. At 30% silver, the metal practically loses its yellowness. It becomes silvery with a light greenish tint. This alloy is called electrum. Blue, navy, and purple gold. To get a gentle blue tint, cobalt is added to the metal, or rhodium coating is applied. Brown, or dark reddish gold. A typical brown hue is the result of chemical treatment of the metal. This type of gold is made with addition of copper, silver, and palladium. Black gold is obtained by adding cobalt and chrome to the precious metal. But the difficulty is that these metals do not mix well. The exact process technology is still a mystery to most manufacturers. The goldsmith's work has always been and remains the largest consumer of the yellow metal. In the modern world, jewelry not only presents aesthetic beauty, but also the status of its owner. Traditional jewelry of Kazakhs is unique and multifaceted phenomena. Kazakh jewelers, called Zirgirs, underwent lengthy training and passed on their skills by inheritance. Gold has been and remains the main material for jewelers around the world. According to nomads, silver has got cleansing, protective, and magical properties as well, and its luster was associated with the moonlight. Masters adorned their products with precious stones and gems. Silver. The first silver jewelry began to appear in ancient Egypt about 6,000 years ago. Previously, this noble metal was often found in the form of nuggets, and it did not need to be smelted from other ores. Silver has got almost 100% of light reflectance. The largest silver reserves on Earth are in India. 
the name of the first Russian money, rubles, came from the fact that silver bars were cut into pieces if the cost of the goods were less than the entire ingot. Silver has got a bactericidal property, the ability to sterilize water. This can explain why silver coins are often found at the bottom of ancient wells. The world's largest silver ingot was discovered in the Middle Ages in Germany. The precious block weighed almost 40 tons. Right now there is no industry where silver in one form or another is not used. It is widely used as a metal for the manufacturing of contacts and conductors and electronics. Among the nomads, wealth was not only cattle and horses, but also jewelry of gold and silver. According to a Kazakh proverb, a girl's fate is like thin hair. Therefore jewelry, like amulets, served as magical charms. The younger the woman, the more precious items she was supposed to wear. They were decorated with various gems, and this was a mandatory attribute of a woman's costume. Men also adorned their clothes with silver plaques, decorated with gemstones. The beauty of jewelry is fascinating. We admire them and sometimes we don't think that each piece has the soul of a master jeweler embedded in it. Thanks to his imagination and ability, a work of art is born. It all starts with a sketch that is drawn to the smallest detail on a piece of paper. While working on it, the master substitutes ready-made silver elements and stones for it. He looks at the combination of details, often changing and complementing it. Color has a special place in jewelry. Color allows you to determine the shape and size of the future product. Jewelers like to use the most diverse color palette in jewelry, which will set off and enhance the beauty. Silver is not only beautiful, but is also quite durable and a precious metal. Silversmiths use a variety of techniques when working with it. Masterfully working with a tool, the jewelers give the metal the necessary shape. Each product requires a specific approach. In the process of making a ring, for example, he uses the embossing technique. Silver products become exquisite if the silversmith uses the blackening technique. Moreover, not the entire surface is stained black, but only some of its recessed parts in the form of various shapes and patterns. From ancient times, Zirgir jewelers used the ancient Kazakh ornaments in the form of a triangle filled with convex points. It is this peculiar feature that distinguishes Kazakh jewelry from the others. Ceramics Ceramics have always surrounded humans everywhere, and they have been found side by side with them almost throughout entire history. From the moment a primitive potter picked up a sticky and shapeless piece of clay, having molded something from this piece, man noticed that when it dried, the article did not lose its shape but on the contrary became strong and hard. These properties of clay opened up great possibilities for the primitive masters. 